Woo! What a day. Oh boy. You know, anytime I'm rushing to get things done at the foundry is always when a little something goes wrong. I was planning to just zoom in there after Sacred Heart today, my shift at job link, cruise by there, finish gating my piece, which means taking the stem that you pour the metal into and then making like little branches off of it that connect with your piece. So it flows down the stem, out of the little gate, and into whatever your piece is. I get there, I'm almost ready to, I'm almost ready to pour the, uh, plaster investment around it, plaster and sand mixture, and David Nguyen, who is great, and I love the guy, he was just the bearer of bad news, he says, oh, Duncan, yeah, you, you've got all those gates going this way, all those gates need to be going this way, great. So I have to take the whole tree, and each of my four figures has three or more gates. I've got to sever them, they're made of wax, and then remelt them. I burnt the hell out of my finger. Whew, but I'm finally done. I got home like 20 minutes ago. Uh, I had a big plans to make Alicia some tuna fish salad for lunch tomorrow for her lunch. And then I was going to make sandwiches tonight. Go get some pickles and have chips and sandwiches. Uh, I was just too tired and we were both too hungry. So it was a Taco Bravo night. We each got a taco and a burrito. Bean burrito. And we're both satisfied. So I guess she's just going to get a sandwich from this uh, Lee's sandwich shop or whatever near her work. So that's good. Sorry I'm not at the library, but like I said, this is finals week and everything's crazy, so uh, we will get to all that stuff. And in the meantime, I'll sort of send Terry's tomorrow, and you can always go back and watch, but uh, I'll send Terry's, and I sent Andy's, Andy should have his today or tomorrow. Here's a little something I want you to help me with, though. <clears throat> I tend to be very honest just to deceive uh, or to do to break the rules or whatever just you know it's just easier to play along for instance like I don't cheat things like that so for instance you know a lot of times when I'll go out to eat let's talk specifically about La Vic where I love their breakfast burritos I'll get a water cup, and you know you, how you always go to the soda machine and you got the water next to the lemonade or the high C, and you just press the little lever, and out comes the water. Well, several years ago, I was at another place and they had water, and then the bubbly water. And I'm like, oh great, you know the same kind of tab, the little metal tab, and you just press it. Um, and I didn't really think much of it because the way I understand it. The vendors that service those, they charge them for the syrups from the sodas, but the bubbly water is free. They just always have it. That's part of the service. So if I drink 12 Cokes, it's going to cut into their money. So, But if I drink 12 bubbly waters, it's not going to affect them at all. Okay, so here's my dilemma. I kept going to Levix and I'd get the bubbly water because it's delicious. And then... Uh, I thought, oh, you know, they're going to see this bubbly water and they're going to think I got Sprite because it's got bubbles in it. But then I started thinking, well, what if they don't want me to take the bubbly water at all? What if they want to charge me for the bubbly water? Even though in my mind, they don't get charged for it, so why should they charge me? It's just the same as water. They don't charge me for water, don't charge me for bubbly water. And I was going to ask them, this has been going on for weeks, okay? Sometimes I get it. Sometimes I don't. Um, so that's my dilemma. What's up with the bubbly water? Should I just go ahead and get it? Should I wait for them to tell me? And I almost felt like going, hey, it's okay that I get this, right? Because it's just the bubbly water. But I figure in those cases, if you ask somebody, can you do something you're already doing, they're going to tell you no. So I don't know. Check in with me about that tomorrow. Peace.